I think on a deeper level, it was a an avenue I felt like was the only avenue I had as a, a young boy and moving into my younger years as an adult where I could freely express myself authentically and like a sense of freedom to be me in my own unique way and not have any suppression of my expression of who I was. I think what, what stands out and what first comes to mind about why a bike was so special to me was because it started out as a form of transportation, just kind of freedom to get around to, through the neighborhood to my friend's house, which obviously led me going to skate parks and stuff like that. But I think on a deeper level, it was a an avenue I felt like was the only avenue I had as a, a young boy and moving into my younger years as an adult where I could freely express myself authentically and I gained a lot of confidence through developing the skill on my bike and it just felt, you know, all, all that to say, like the word that summarizes everything is just a freedom, like a sense of freedom to be me in my own unique way and not have, um, you know, any, any suppression of my expression of who I was. And then of course, you know, as I got into competition, which is an interesting area I've dove into trying to understand my past uh, programming leading me into a place of judgment as a career with, you know, former insecurities growing up, but it, it just, it was a place for me to express myself freely. And then of course, as I got better and wanted to, per, you know, produce better quality contest rounds or video parts or, um, you know, promote my sponsors and things like that. Then of course the insecurities came and the self judgment and worry and doubt, but even through all of it, it was like my place of confidence. It was my place of mastery. It was my place where I used to refer to as the only place I could block out anything going on in my life and free myself from concern by being on that bike. So in short, it started out with, you know, fun and um, means of transportation before I could drive. And uh, then it just turned into this place where I could express myself fully. And then that just led into the addiction to progression and the delayed gratification. Like I didn't understand that term back then, but like just working for something and being so hungry to create something or accomplish something. And then the amount of times you fall down and how painful it is literally, uh, physically, and then mentally, of course, and emotionally, uh, literally blood, sweat, and tears. Like that phrase, I mean, that was BMX, but to, to accomplish something you set out to do, which could take a day or could take sometimes years, that sense of gratification and success was just addicting. And then the level of progression which I think is what every human being craves at the end of the day is momentum, like feeling like you're, you're moving forward, you're striving towards something. I, it just, it just took over. And then it just obviously became, um, big, big aspect of my life. Like the sole focus of my life, which led me to drop out of high school, leave my family at 17, moving 14 hours South of North Carolina to pursue that path. And then it just obviously, you know, led into other areas of my life in terms of it literally and figuratively saving my life. But yeah, it started out with just something fun and interesting to do. I um, mean, you know, I played school sports and I was good at them and I just wasn't as interested in it as I was with action sports. And then when BMX came along, it just, it just grabbed me and it just, yeah, it kept going. So there's so many aspects. This is kind of hard to answer that question because there's so many things that stand out about its interest and how it developed, uh, you know, being an adult now reflecting, but you know, the main thing was just fun, um, free, like freedom to travel around, um, get around to my friends, and then just freedom of self-expression.